welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you are new, my name is Maricel, and go feel free to go hit that subscribe button down below, and make sure you have your post notifications turned on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. So today's video is going to be a steal her man, steal, you know, whoever's man's you want, makeup look. Don't get offended by the title, it's just a joke, so, you know, this is just a look that I've just been playing around with, and if you guys would like to see how I created it, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I already have my eyebrows done, but this is the palette that I used. Um, it will also be linked down below, but I'm just going to take this white color and use it as my base, and then I just use the um, e.l.f. blending brush, and I'm just putting that white shade all um, around my lid. And I already have my eyebrows done just because to save time so yeah and then i'm taking this matte like pinkish purpley type color and putting that in my crease as the transition shade so i'm just gonna keep blending that into my crease If you guys want to see like an updated eyebrow routine, um, just let me know down below in the comments. I can do one. Um, I'll just link my old one down below. But I'm just going to take this old like cover, I think it's CoverGirl palette thingy, like the quad. And I'm just taking, it's just a matte brown color, so any kind of matte brown. I'm just going to take that with the same brush and put it into my crease. And if I'm looking down, I have a mirror down below so don't mind that so you're just going to keep blending it into your crease okay now i'm going to take these two shimmery shades it's just like a shimmery purple and like a shimmery brown and i'm going to take this with my wet and wild eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to dip it in both of the colors and then place it onto my eyelid. Only onto the center and of your eyelid. I didn't have my contacts on or my glasses, so I couldn't really see anything. But this is just how you're going to do it. I did kind of in tapping motion. Um, you could also use your finger for this. I think it would be better if you use your finger. Um, I just didn't want to get my finger dirty. So I just used the brush. And I'm just putting that in like tapping motions. So it can get most of the product onto my eyelid. Okay, so now I'm taking this brown shade. And this type of detailed brush. And I'm just going to dip that in that color. And then put it on my outer V. And blend it into my crease. Okay, and then do fix that side up. And I already did like half of the look thing because to save time, I didn't want the video to be like 30 minutes long. So yeah. Now I'm taking this blending brush and I'm just blending all the colors together. And then I'm gonna go into this other palette again, and I'm gonna take like the light pink shimmery shade and the other brush that I use for my crease, and I'm just gonna put that into the inner corner of my eyeball. Okay, now I'm going to go back in the palette with that white again, and I'm just going to put it on my brow bone. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with this wet and wild, like the eyeshadow brush that I use for my lid. I'm going to go back in with that brown color, and then I'm going to use it on my waterline, or underneath the eye, one of those. Okay, so now we are done with all the eyeshadow, and I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Okay, so now that I'm done curling my eyelashes, I'm going to use two mascaras. I'm trying these two new mascaras out, and it's the IT Cosmetics Volumizing Mascara. And um, I really like it. 
I just like to use the two mascaras because they give me more volume. And I already have like pretty long eyelashes. So, um, yeah. And as you see, you know, your girl messed up and it poked me in my eye. But, you know, we are good because you can just wipe it off. That's why I did not put on my foundation um, in the first time. But, yeah. And I did my bottom lashes. And then the second one, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Full Exposure Volumizing Mascara. Uh, another volumizing one. So, um, yeah. Okay, so now you are done with the eyes. And now we're going to move on to the face. What, what? So I use this Elf Hydrating Foundation Primer. You can get it at Walmart or whatever, you know. And I just put it all over my face. Don't mind, like, all the faces I'm making. Um, I know I look really, like, ugly, but it's all good. So I'm just going to rub that into my face. And then I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. It has SPF 50, and right now it's summer, so I'm in the color tan. I'm normally not that dark, but, you know, this is my color right now. And so it was taking forever to come out because I used it a lot. And it just, you know, squeezed out all over my forehead. So I had to, you know, use my finger and, you know, like spread it out. And, you know, you got to make sure you get it down the neck because you don't want your face and neck to be two different colors. So. Then I'm taking this, like, spongy thingy. Instead of using a beauty blender because, you know, I had to throw mine away. Um, but, you know, I just it's just like a spongy thing that you can get at Dollar Tree or whatever. And, you know, I just fast forward me putting on my foundation. Okay, so now that, you know, you keep blending so now that we are done with our foundation finally i'm gonna go in with this like ultra brightening thingy um it's not really concealer it's just to like brighten and i use that all over like where you're supposed to highlight I swear, like, I want to punch myself for going, like, putting my head down so many times, but, you know, just don't mind that. Now I'm going to use this concealer. It sucks. Do not buy this concealer. Um, it's not good at all whatsoever. It, like, dries easily, and it's really hard to blend, but, you know, that's the only concealer that I have right now, so, yeah, I'm just putting it on top of where I just put that other stuff. Um, and then we're just gonna, you know, blend it out. And I'm using the opposite side of what I use my foundation for. And, you know, you're just gonna blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Just blend, blend. What, what? That should be on iTunes, you know. Order it on iTunes, you know. It's bomb. Okay, so now you're just going to keep on blending. And now once you are done, finally you're going to go in with your bronzer. You know, I always use this in all my makeup tutorials. You know, it's CoverGirl. And then I'm taking this Bare Minerals, like, Kabuki brush thing. But I just use it to contour. And, yeah, I'm just going to contour where you know you normally contour. And just in my... Okay, so then now I'm going to go in with my highlighters. And yes, highlighters, because I use two. I use the Ulta Shimmer stuff, and then I use, like, this Wet n Wild one that I got off from the drugstore Ulta. I got from Ulta, duh. And then I just use, like, the four 600 colors, and then I just mixed it with the pink one, and I just put it all, you know, on where you're supposed to highlight. 
And this brush is the e.l.f. contouring brush. You can get it at Walmart, or Target, or whatever drugstore. And um, I'm just putting it on it. And look at that glow, like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so now I am done with that. Then I'm going to move on to lips. I use this NYC um, lip stain and this, like, Bare Minerals lip gloss. And, um, you just, you know, put that on your lip. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love it when you let it go. whoa whoa Okay, so I am putting on the lip stain, and then once you put on the lip stain, it's just like a soft, like, it's like my natural lip color, so like a nude, I guess, and then I'm just gonna put the lip gloss right on top, and this actually tastes really good, it tastes like vanilla and like coconuts and stuff, so it's really good. I recommend. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what other you guys would like to see me make. And go down into the description box. All the items that I use in the video will be listed down below. As well as all my social media links. So go ahead and go check me out on there and go follow me. So, um, yeah. If anybody hasn't told you they loved you. Remember, I do. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.